It's the bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Sam Hunt, uh, who you know will be at the Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater at Bald Hill August 21. Yes. Uh, but bigger news yesterday, he announced that he became a dad last month. Oh, look at that. Yes, his uh wa- so here's the interesting thing, his wife Hannah, who I thought they were separated. I don't know if they officially got divorced or they're separated or they're back together, but anyway, officially At some point, they made a baby. Right. It's still his wife as of now, Hannah, and uh, she had a baby girl, and uh, he is a father. He is wow. a dad. Yeah, you are the father, Sam. All right, Maury, sit down. Yes. Uh, Kelsey Ballerini um, used to study dance when she was younger, and she said uh, she's had time off from the road recently, and she took up studying ballet again. Oh, good for her. Yeah, she says it helps clear her mind. Good. Yeah, I thought that was nice. Everybody needs a hobby, right? Absolutely. All right. Tom Brady had his hair dyed orange. Why is that? Well, the Buccaneers held a charity event with uh, kids and all sorts of uh, fun people called Cut and Color for a Cure. And Tom Brady sat down in the chair. They dyed his hair orange. I think that's I a, love that. a good sport, don't you definitely. think? Definitely. I definitely think that's good, yeah. yes. Uh, there's a trailer out for a new Hulu series coming called Mike. It's the unauthorized series about Mike Tyson. Oh, the unauthorized. Interesting. Yeah. Trailer looks pretty good, too. So I may, uh, I have a Hulu subscription. I don't go on there too often, so I may have to uh, check that out soon. Uh, there's also a trailer out for a Netflix Bob Saget tribute. I believe that comes out tomorrow. It's where all his famous friends sat down in, uh, you know, in together in an environment and started telling jokes and uh, kind of turned it into a Netflix special. So uh, they're reminiscing about Bob. Oh, and, yeah, things I, of that nature. I, I would totally check that out. Yep, I believe tomorrow you can find that. Um, did you hear about the story that Kylie Minogue, you know Kylie Minogue, right? Yes, I do. Uh, the artist, the singer, um, had a bunch of hits back in the day. Uh, she told a story on a late night show, not sure which one, uh, where Kylie Jenner was trying to... By, by the way, before I tell you this... Kylie Minogue didn't say there was any bad blood. It's just business, according to what she said. Kylie Jenner was trying to trademark the name Kylie for her cosmetic company. I'm sure she did. And Kylie Minogue said, oh, wait, I'm going to file a counter lawsuit because I was the first Kylie and I'm known by Kylie. So uh, she won. She actually won the lawsuit in court. And uh, Kylie Jenner, instead of just calling it Kylie, had to call it Kylie Cosmetics. Ah. And and they came to an agreement, some sort of decision where she would call it Kylie Cosmetics and not just Kylie. But now if you stop and think about it, I see both sides. Because Kylie Minogue definitely has a career and a legacy to protect. And I don't know any other Kylies other than Kylie Jenner and Kylie Minogue. Can you name one? I Candy? don't. I cannot. But still, it's a you know a name you could use. Right. You so, mean you you can't do anything where someone else can't name their child Kylie? Well, you can name your child Kylie. You just can't be a superstar and use the word Kylie. Oh and boy. I don't. Well, no. Now, I mean, you can Kylie now. Cosmetics. That's right, it now. Right. You can now, but. Um, Yeah, and I started thinking, I don't blame Kylie Jenner because she probably looked around and said, hey, I'm the only Kylie, let me trademark. And Kylie Minogue said, wait, 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 I was the first Kylie. So uh, I'm going to have to Google one day famous Kylies. Yes, and I'm glad she won because really. Yeah, well, maybe my father will do that for us. Um, Chicago releasing their 38th studio album in July. How about wow, that? 38. That's great. Impressive. Are yeah. they in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet? You know, I certainly hope so. And I'm not even sure if they care. I remember they once oh, said. I'm sure they don't care. They said something about, like, if we're not in yet, then, you know, why is there even a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I mean, you know? crazy. Yeah. Um, they might have recently been inducted. I don't know. There was bad blood between Chicago and and the head of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Well, it's um, ridiculous. A woman lost her 15-year-old dachshund 
and found it. This was upstate New York. Found it on Hillary Swank's lap on the set of a movie. What? How about that? How did that happen? Yeah, well, I don't know. They just, she ended up, the, the dog ended up at the movie set and Hillary runs a foundation for lost animals. Wow. And yeah. Well, it all worked out in the end. And finally, the Foo Fighters will have two tribute shows in September to honor their late drummer, Taylor Hawkins. One will be in London, the other in Los Angeles. My girlfriend, big fan. She wants to go to Los Angeles, see that show. Well, she can do that. They have airplanes now, Candy. You can get they, on one. What? Yes. What is this thing you're talking about? My buddy Josh is in L.A. for business. Yes, you can, you can get on an airplane and fly to L.A. What? if you like. Mm -hmm. This is news to me. Uh, TV tonight, I don't know why. Maybe you have more insight. CBS, NBC, and ABC all have specials tonight on the Capitol attack. Why tonight? Of all, I... I'm not sure why tonight. All right. Well, really, the, I'm not. The three, the three major networks there all have one. And Hulu with the next episode of The Kardashians tonight. Candy? I haven't seen a second of it. Aren't you proud of me? I am very proud. Thank you. There you have it. You're bald and the beautiful everything from Nashville to Hollywood. The rain going away. We will have clearing skies and sunshine this afternoon and then making way for a beautiful Friday as well. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.